It is August 27th. It is a Sunday. It is the Sunday of Cycle Sir. Huh? It's, it's Saturday. Saturday, see? Yeah. It's still Saturday. Not, it's still not right. live after. You can redo it. <laughs> you can redo nope, it. keep it in. Keep right. it in. It, 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 we do it live. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it is Saturday, the 27th, Cycle Circus. I'm Big Papa J, your host. With me, your co-host, Zay Money. Yeah, baby. I don't have any ones and twos. I just got these keys for you, I tell you that. There ain't <laughs> right. no sound effects, just the beautiful, soft sweetness of our voice. Right. Yeah. Soft sweetness. With us is the uh, producer, promoter, owner... All of it. Of IZW Wrestling, Greg DeMarco. Yep, that's me. Uh, yay. I'm like, this is a camera here. I got a camera there. <laughs> right. Yes. You do. It's almost like you're famous. Well, when you have somebody almost. this important coming on the show, we got to make sure I'm people just, I'm see. the background person, though. I'm not the person <laughs> right. who's out there. You make this happen, and that's why we appreciate you. We know you're the brains behind all this. I, I Yes. Yes. So if you if you don't like it, I'm not the brains behind it. <laughs> right. The kid with the curly hair that's off, off camera is. He's yeah. <laughs> right. If you do like it, I planned everything. I planned everything. <laughs> no, I, I, I provide the framework, but at the end of the day, it's talent in the ring. I'm jumping way ahead. So. Well, so. it is, uh, like I said, August 27th. Yesterday was my birthday, Z Money. Uh, August, right. August 27th. And uh, Psycho Circus, man, what's that going to mean for IZW, man? How important is this event? Oh, it's huge. And it's, it's, you know, every, it's only our second August because of COVID when we didn't have the August event before. But right. last year we had Grand Prix. This year we're doing Psycho Circus. I mean, we're crowning the first women's champion in over a decade oh, yes. for IZW. We were there. No, that's today. Oh, that was the today. women's champion. Oh, shit. My bad. <laughs> Sorry. It's your birthday yesterday, right? Yes. He does, <laughs> he, he does a lot of drugs. We are cra- to, by the end of tonight, you will be able to say you were there. That's right. When we crown in our main event, Psycho Circus match, the first ever Psycho Circus match. Can you explain that match to me? Yes, I can explain the match to you and you and you and <laughs> you guys as well. The bald guy who was never on camera. Uh, um, <laughs> that's Fester. That that's Uncle Fester. Uncle, okay. I understand. So the Psycho Circus match has three parts, three phases. Okay? Right. First phase is a five-way match. So all five women will start wrestling at the same time. Pinfall submission is the only way that can end. Whoever is pinned or forced to submit, they're out. They're eliminated from the match. Whoever scores the fall gets to pick their partner for the second phase, which is a tag team match. All right. So the four women will split off into those two teams, have a tag team match. Traditional tag team match, except it is held under Lucha Libre rules. Yeah. So if one woman leaves the ring, the other one can join without tagging hey. in. Hey, okay. All They'll right. fight. Whichever team wins the tag team match, yeah. well, whichever team loses, they're eliminated. The two women that won the tag team match will be yeah. the final two to compete against each other. So there's some real strategy. When you yes. got to pick your partner, you, you got to pick, pick your partner. a strong partner. But Especially when you, you think about beat. the history amongst all five of those women yeah. in that match. Then the final two women battle it out. Pinfall or submission is the only way it cannot end in disqualification or counter. It has to end in pinfall or submission. And whoever wins that will leave as the first women's champion in over a decade for IZW. Uh, have we seen the, uh, the strap for the uh, championship yet? You have not seen the strap for the championship. And, and I can tell you guys this. People will find it out soon. No one will see it tonight because it did not arrive. Oh, there was yes. a uh, manufacturing snafu. Yes, it, is, is, it, it happens. It everybody's happens. dealing with that right now. It'll be here next week. We do have a strap, a belt to utilize. Now for let's, this oh, there you go. I was going to say, let's clarify so, what a strap is because yes. we've got a lot of sick-ass so, perverts that listen okay, to the yeah, show. Okay, no, not that kind. <laughs> um, the, the, the winner will raise a championship. It's Man. not. We're not just using the championship that Thug Nipson holds. We have another championship to use Perfect. for tonight. It's actually the original IZW championship. Oh, so it's back a throwback with some yes. history. Some history to it. All right. We, um, it looks different because it was completely stripped down. So it's just a big gold belt right now. Ah. Um, but we do have that for the winner of the match. And then uh, within a week, uh, sometime next week, you know, probably tomorrow with my luck, yeah. with the show being tonight. All right. It'll show um, up the day after. <laughs> it'll be here. And then uh, we will present the winner and get all the pictures taken and all that kind of stuff. So, unfortunately, we don't have the championship belt. We always have a backup plan. So we have to use the backup plan, which I don't like doing. Yeah. But right, right. that's where we are. So no belt. But. We'll have a champion. They will, ra- they will raise a token. They will have something that best. shows their champion. Just not what they're normally going to have long time. I can't wait. Well, the uh, uh, long-time listeners who are paying attention know that uh, IZW has been around for a minute. When yes. was the last time you've had a uh, woman's champion? It was, I want to say 2009. All right. So IZW, and even 2010, because in 2010, 
that's when IZW closed its doors for the first time. Right. And, and so at that point, all the championship reigns ended. And, and so then we restarted, of course, in 2020. Uh, well, 2021, we crowned Thugnificent right, as man. the IZW World Heavyweight Champion. Now, tonight, August 27, 2022, we will crown the Women's World Champion for the first time. So it has been over, technically, with, you know, 2010 or 20, it's been over, it's been almost 12 years. That's it's been right. really over 12 years because it was in May of 2010 when IZW ran its last event back then. So, yeah, over 12 years since we've had a Women's Champion. Wow, so it's, 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 it's due. about that. It's it time. is due. It is and overdue, yeah. With shows every uh, every three months, uh-huh. you know, it's hard to uh, move forward and, you know, keep keep the uh, stories yeah, from one, it's a one challenge. show to the other. Um, what is your plan going forward for next year as far as uh, show schedules and dates? So right now we have, we, we do have, you know, the quarterly events that we have the four per year. And then this year we added the two Coolidge events. Um, in Coolidge, Arizona, we you know the one in April, and now the one that's next month in September. Right. Are they staying for next year? Yes. So so, so we fun. must I have, have so minimum two, right? Minimum six with the two in Coolidge. I could see us getting to eight next year. Oh. Um, we've talked about that. We even for a minute we looked at maybe running October of this year. Did not happen. Um, so so as of right now. We are looking at uh, between six and eight shows next year. Nice. When we went to Coolidge number one, it was it was a hit. Right. My kids were there. So Everybody loved it. It was awesome. Pete, Pete the the heat made, made a kid so cry. many kids cry that time, and it was the best. <laughs> He'll probably do it again here in a month. But <laughs> I'm excited best. to go back to Coolidge. It's so much fun, and it's really what what wrestling's all about. Yeah, when right. you, when you go out into a community. And, and some of them will be here tonight, and some of them were at the King of the Jungle back in May. But when you take it on the road to a community, especially a community like Coolidge, where things like that just don't really happen that often. Yeah. So they don't have those, you know, that, that kind right. of stuff to go there. Um, it's definitely so a novelty. It there, it's special. And, and, you know, that's where Navajo Warrior started his career was yeah. in Coolidge. Wow. That's where he wrestled his first match. So to be able to go back to that community, that, that community means a lot to a lot of people. And, and they don't have anything. And before the boxing gym that we work with even opened, they had literally had nothing and, and mm. no outlet for those kids. And when kids don't have an outlet, what do they do? They get in trouble. Right. Yeah. They make bad choices. So the yeah. boxing gym has been such a godsend to that area. Yeah. Now we come in twice a year and, and, and give them these events to, to go in and just to hear those kids screaming and yelling at every little thing and, and just, just such a blast. And, right. Uh, very excited for next month to go back there and do it and, again. And as strong as uh, the independent scene is in Phoenix, mm-hmm. it's good to get out, out of the boundaries oh, a yeah. little bit and, uh, and freshen the crowd because uh, Arizona and Phoenix is huge with independent wrestling. It's great. We it's, love it. It's, it's it's amazing. A lot of a lot of talent sharing and uh, mm-hmm. uh, all which is that is stuff. good and bad. It, right. it's, it's good. You know, it, it's a challenge sometimes because you want to be different. But you also like the talent, and the local talent needs those places to work. Right. So you have to balance out, you know, who to use and who not to use so that you're not overexposing people, but you're also giving people an opportunity to wrestle. And, and, and plus, the people that we like, the people that fit what we do in IZW, yeah. don't necessarily fit other places. Right. People that work other places may not fit in IZW. So you get overlap, but you also get, get that balance. It right. takes a lot of know-how, a lot of juggling, and you have to know – this is how you know it's not just necessarily set up. You have to know the wrestler. You have to know him yeah. and know what he's going to work with. Just like you said, work best with. You can't just throw anybody willy-nilly in there. There are some really talented people that we don't use because they're really talented, but they don't necessarily fit what we do. Exactly. And there right. are really talented people that we use that others don't because yeah. they don't fit what the others do. Mm-hmm. And so that's why it's, it's great to be a fan in this area because right. There's so much. everywhere you go, you're going to see different things. Yep. And, and you can go to all of them. We do try to work together so that there's not, you know, overlapping dates mm-hmm. all the time because we don't want to force the fans to choose. We want the fans to be able to because there are fans that will go to every single thing. Right. Mm-hmm. And we want to be able to accommodate them. So. Yep. Right. And not only that, but Phoenix is big in big time wrestling, too. Yeah. Uh, WWE is coming back again after just being here for SmackDown. Yep. They're coming back for Saturday night's main event. Excited. Very excited about that in October. This is how old I am. The last time I was to a Saturday night's main event was the uh, setup. And they filmed the run up to WrestleMania 2 at the Coliseum. Wow. <laughs> WrestleMania cool. 2, bro. That's how old King he is. Kong <laughs> so, because they, yeah, King Kong Bundy and Hulk Hogan and the blue, big blue bars. The big blue cages. I love those cages. I wish that we still had those cages. Right. You know, it's. It's funny the way nostalgia works. Everybody was crying for the uh, for the cheese grater fences, and uh, then the blue bars went right. away, and everybody's crying for the blue bars. If we could have, if if we could, because I'll, I'll give you guys a little 
a little uh, snippet of information. All right. Um, Heard it here first live. I'm making a little right inside <laughs> info. <laughs> you will see a steel cage match in IZW. Oh, oh man. Oh, my God. At some point soon. Oh, that's the best. That is crazy. So. It won't be the big blue bars, though, and that's why I was bringing it up. If we could get the big blue bars, I would use the big blue bars. Every time. The fact that there's Every a time. cage match in an event like this is, is nuts. I've not yeah. seen one. I don't know if you've ever had one. Have you ever had one, period? IZW has not. Oh. So I'm very well, excited about quick, that. I don't know if you would know this, but is there any other wrestling organization mm-hmm. like ours that has had them? Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. recently PCW had one oh. back over the summer. Uh, and they, they had a cage match, and uh, I know there have been others. Uh, a couple of the Indian Reservation shows back in the day yeah, right. had, had cage matches on them, but not a regular occurrence. And, of course, you don't want to do it every event, and, oh. and then it's not special anymore. Yeah, right. yeah. But uh, we definitely have plans to, to use a steel cage so here in the cool. somewhat near future. Can't wait. Well, you, uh, you want to tell people where they can find you on social media? They can find me. I don't know why you'd want to. Um, <laughs> you can find me at Chairshot Greg. Uh, I work with a website called thechairshot.com. That's why I keep swearing I'm going to change it. And I never do. Right. So it's still at Chair Shot, Greg. But go out there and at IZW Wrestling AZ for Arizona. IZW Wrestling AZ um, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all of it. Right. Go follow along. That's where you'll get all the information. IZWWrestling.com. Of course, we have our tickets there. We also have our tickets every post that we make. There's a link mm-hmm. to tickets and, and everything. I always direct people buy. to go to your Facebook, IZW Wrestling AZ, and click that blue button. It says... Get tickets, buy, buy and if tickets. you don't get tickets from that blue button, it'll send you where you can get them. Exactly, and and I can tell you, like right now, um, I because I'm not married to my phone today because it's been charging. Last I checked, I don't even know if there are any tickets left for for tonight's <laughs> show. Um, I'm pretty sure they're all Standing gone at this point. Only. And and we will accommodate people at the door, and we will allow them to try to come in. But yeah, it's gonna be another packed show. They always are. Right. Um, the IZW family, uh, which of course you guys are a huge part of, and everybody is. It's so great to us to just to keep coming and, and packing the house, and it's just just so much fun. We love to see it, and it is tonight's fun. no different. Yeah. And, and I'm very excited about that. I'm excited that that we continue to to do these pack shows. We've sold out every single uh, Sun Studios event, right. going back to, to the you know the second Standing one. Standing room only one. most of the time. And, yeah, and we just have people packed in, and, and they have so much fun. Yeah, and we tell stories, and that's yeah. why you know yeah. we. we we're a storytelling wrestling company, yep. right? And and that's what we'll be. And that's the other great thing we talked about. That's different than some of the other companies locally. So, you get a taste of everything, no matter where you go. But yeah. you know, we have something for everybody here. So yeah. that's what we were. And did you to. mention that uh, there are tickets on sale for Coolidge Two and Wanted? Tickets are on sale for for Cool Town Clash Two, um, and also November twelfth, uh, of course, Wanted Dead or Alive. Oh um, yes. You know, you can kind of see where we name our shows. Yeah, if yeah. you're a music fan, right? You know, we we've had a couple different Kiss references. We got our first Bon Jovi yeah, reference yeah, yeah. coming up in November. Um, so Psycho Circus, of course, maybe one of those Kiss and album. Drake. So, um, very excited about that. But yep, Full Town what, Clash what do you Two. Like? Do you uh, you try snacks? I, I do. Do you yeah. like snacks? I do. Now we're gonna do a little impromptu uh, snack time segment here. If you don't this mind, this man has no idea what a clock is. Sorry, I'm telling Let's you. Let's just open it. We got the limited edition <laughs> wavy funyun onion flavored funyuns. Wait, 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 hang on a second. Let me let me see this. Go ahead. So this is this is where I'm not a promoter. I'm just a funny person. Yeah. All right. I'm eating chips that are flavored like other chips. Yes. Right. He noticed. Yeah, These he are chip flavored chips. <laughs> yes. Yes. It's the best. He noticed. We've tried the other three because they have Doritos four. Cool Ranch flavor. They have Fritos. Doritos Cool chili. Ranch is already a flavor. And it's great. <laughs> it's Why? a flavor of Doritos. Exactly. Exactly. It's also a flavor of Lay's. Temporarily. Yeah. For a limited time. Yeah. Which are they all, aren't they all probably the same company anyway? They're yes, all from they are yeah. Frito Lay's. So they're cross promoting yeah, from each yeah, other. Yeah. Uh, Fritos chili cheese Let me ask chips. you. Let me, I, I, need, I, need, I need some direction. Yeah. All right. Are we allowed to swear? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's the dumbest fucking thing <laughs> yes. I've ever heard. Uh, so many people at work have said the same thing. Go Funyuns. ahead and open those up and try one, man. Uh, we're we're going to rate them. Rate them on a scale of zero to five and tell us why, man. We'll Chip be right flavored there with chips. Yes, we haven't even tried these, I don't think. By the way, by the way, you're drinking a very controversial Starlight Coca Cola. Is that yours? Flavored like space. I assume that's yours. That's K Dogs. Oh, that's K Dogs? That's his. Who's K Oh, I thought it was yours. Well, it's mine now. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to taste it anyway. Oh, you yeah, haven't tasted it? Starlight? Yeah, it yeah it's, taste, it's flavored like space. Uh-huh. Does that taste like space to you? Do you get oh, it? Look do, at you, that. do you know what that flavor Inquisitive. is? Inquisitive. Look at that. He's like, hmm. Hmm. 
It's controversial. I love it, but mm. a lot of people do. That not. might be the worst flavor, <laughs> <laughs> worst soda I've ever had in my life. There's a lot of people that don't, that say that, but then there's a lot on the other side. It's a s'mores flavored Coca Cola. Because when you're out camping, looking up at the stars, so that's space. This is not bad. So Sorry, you're you're, di- you're digging the Funyun Lay's chips. I mean, not not that far off a of French onion, but definitely different. Sour cream and onion, maybe also. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm. Now, do you guys get the Funyun taste out of claims? Because I know I do. what a Funyun. I do not. Maybe it's the texture of a Funyun itself, because it's like a hollowed out onion yeah. shell. And this is not that. It's a wavy Lay's. I don't know. I, I guess I'll go first. I'm going to give it a two and a half out of five, because a lot of times stoners go to the Funyuns, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And this doesn't taste like a Funyun. So if I was a stoner, I would not go to this chip. I'd go get a real bag of, of fucking Funyuns. Right, you're right. It's not as good. It's not as good as French onion lays, and Let's it's not real. as good as Funyuns. Greg pointed out, but chips it is good. flavored like fucking chips. <laughs> chip, chip flavor. You, you can have your shitty soda back too. <laughs> hey, look at that. Greg, Greg gave K Dog his soda back. <laughs> it's a, uh, it's a three out of five for me. It's not as good as either snack. It's pretending to be, but uh, I can house the whole bag. I, I could eat the whole bag. Mm, you were right. <laughs> but I could, eat, I could eat a lot worse things than eat the whole bag, yeah, too. I would probably give it a three out of five, too. And the biggest thing I would say is that if I wanted something that tasted like Funyuns, I would just eat Funyuns. Go get the Funyuns. Right. Right. Get the Funyuns. That Although, I'll be honest with you, Funyuns... Okay, here's the thing. These are tech, texture-wise, these are better. Yeah. I like the texture okay. better of these than I would of a Funyun. Of a real Funyun. So I think that that's where this has a leg up on the Funyun. Well, Funyun's got snap, crackle, and pop when you put it in your mouth. Yeah. Excuse me? But yeah. it also kind of gets, like, stuck to the roof. It too. does. It does. It's, got a, do it's got a so vacuum like, effect. So I noticed when I first got it, it, it almost smelled like a bullion cube. Yeah. Like, it brought me back to, like, opening the you're bullion right, cube right. bo- you know, thing it's when true. I was a kid. I like those. It's like, that's kind of what it smells like. That's how I make my rice, bullion <laughs> cubes. What do you give it there, boss man? You know, that's, that's, that's just a two. It's not a very good chip. Like, it just doesn't have a lot of good flavor. All right. For a man who obviously eats a lot of junk food, he judges them very harshly on this show, if you listen. <laughs> you always need to have an expert. <laughs> hey, that's always a good way to put it. That's a good way to put it. Before you go, yes. could you possibly give us, uh, you know, make it your own. Uh, this is Greg DeMarco, uh, promoter of IZW Wrestling, and you're listening to Big Lip Radio. I can try. All right. I, take as many times as you want. Hopefully just one. Back when the original IZW, when I was, you know, doing holding the microphone, yeah. I was always, I'd get really mad if we had to do more than one take. Right. Because I was Greg one take to Mark. One take Greg. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Just oh. whenever? Yeah, whenever yep. you're ready. This is Greg DeMarco from IZW Wrestling, and you are listening to Big Lip Radio. All right. Hey, one take. That was good. That before, was good. I, 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 before I go. Uh-huh. Because I know you guys are in control of your own show, but here I am taking over. You can do whatever you want. I want to take the opportunity. Um, most people know they see your guys' name on our flyers. you got the banner hanging up and everything. Right. We appreciate you guys and what you do for us so much, and I'm so excited to continue this in the next year and in the way that we're doing it. Big Lip Radio is a huge part of the IZW family. Awesome. You're a fixture. Everyone knows when they come here. you got the merch tables. you got right. the podcast table. Um, I'm, I'm so excited the fact that you know next week we'll have the four interviews that, that – you know, you guys will put them out there and we'll, we'll, we'll embed them into our, our social media pages as well. But you guys are a big part of what we do. You're a big part of the family. Uh, one thing that we do with anybody that we have, you won't see another podcast here. You won't see another food truck here. We'll just have one. Yeah. We, we I just, see. you know, we won't undercut people, have other people do things. Um, that's, you guys are the official podcast of IZW, which means you're the only Ooh. podcast of IZW, uh, and, and we're just so excited about that. That, yeah. so that means a lot. Thank you so much. Just from us, just a big thank you, and, and you know, so excited as we continue. But you guys have been great, and, and we're excited to keep it going. That's the best, man. It, awesome. it feels so good. We right. appreciate you. Thanks for letting us come around and hang around your giant. We, we really 100%. do appreciate it. And then, awesome. and last but not least, don't leave without giving me a T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we will, we will have one. What well, uh, we T-shirts? Your, I, I posted it on, on my Instagram. Yeah, it gives you strength, man. 20% stronger. <laughs> it gives you more power. I'm wearing a big lip radio shirt. Yeah. <laughs> so, extra large. All right. Because we'll they're, they're a little slim, but they're good. No, they're, I, I love them. I love, the, I love the clown design. I love all of it. So That's, that's all Z that's money. All shit. I do is yell at them. Are they done yet? <laughs> it looks good. It looks we'll really bring good. them to you after the show. Sounds good. I appreciate awesome. it. Thank hey, you. Thank you so thank much, you, Greg. We appreciate it.